Hey guys, Project Zodiac here. I'm back with another video. And as you guys can see, this is another unboxing. Um, but it's not just an unboxing, it's also a review of what's in the box. And as you guys can see, it is related to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Um, this is just an empty game case for the game, uh, just because I love the artwork. Um, just a quick disclaimer, my dog has to stay in my room right now, so if you hear him licking, walking, or anything like that, I do apologize, uh, but he does need to stay with me in the room during the making of this video. But um, going back to the actual video itself, this is something I've been waiting for a very, very long time, because ever since Xenoblade Chronicles 3 released, it's something that I always thought would be super cool about owning. Um, this particular channel is related to the arts and things I love about the arts, such as movies, video games, music, alongside as uh, presenting my own arts as well, my own uh, things such as um, essays, documentaries, analysis of the things that I like and my own video productions as well. Um, so there is a lot of unboxings on this channel, but it's all related to the arts that I like. Um, and it also gives me time to work on bigger projects, which I do have some announcements that I'll be talking about at the end of the video. But anyway, I say all of that because this is something that is related to the arts and something very, very cool and very, very special. And it's related to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Um, so again, I love music. My favorite instruments are like flutes and a piano. It's one of the reasons why I love The Legends of the Ocarina of Time, um, so much so that eventually I ended up buying my own ocarina, which is almost a perfect replica of the actual Ocarina of Time. Um, and then about last year, I also bought this particular ocarina which, from the same company, which lights up different colors as you blow into it, which is really cool. I'm still got to work on a review for this, but I do have an unboxing for this and I'll put the link for this particular unboxing um, below. But one of the central things about Xenoblade is the flutes. And uh, because it's kind of spiritual in a way, the way that they use music to kind of... Uh, what, what they call is off-seeing, sending the spirits of the dead soldiers, uh, you know, to the afterlife, basically. Um, and it's a very beautiful ceremony and it's a very important um in the entire story of the game. And that first trailer, when I heard that first flute and that music, I, I just loved it immediately. And one of the best things about the soundtrack for Xenoblade 3 is that it does incorporate a lot of flutes and pianos. So ever since the game came out and was announced, I thought it would be amazing, just like The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, because an ocarina is an actual, uh, it's a very ancient instrument, uh, but it would be cool to have something modeled after the model in the game. I always wanted something for Xenoblade 3, and that's what this is, because after so long, I finally found this. And um, I'll explain a little bit of how I um, came across this, uh, because I actually uh, have partnered with the maker of this particular pro product for this particular video. Um, so really, I do thank you, Beyond 3D Props, that's the name of the store. Um, the link for his Etsy and his actual website is going to be in the description below. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we get into the video. But yeah, this is something that I'm so grateful somebody actually has made because it's so, so special to me to have this particular replica. So yeah, this just arrived today. Um, I'm very, very excited for it. I've been waiting all day to... Um, open it and review it so let's just get this tape out here first all right so the way that i came across this was for a long time now almost a little over a year now since the game had released i've been looking online every now and then to see if people have made um, custom Xenoblade Chronicles in general, things that people have. Um, so much so that I'm in talks with another guy that makes um, resin core crystals for the Aegis. Um, he hasn't been making them for a while now just because he's redoing his entire studio uh, for resin. 
but he should be making that soon again in a few months right now it's january um 17th i believe uh, it's I, it's been a long day i don't even remember the actual date today but still um so that's something that i really wanted to get uh but i kept looking for this in particular the flutes and i could never find it so much so that I even I even went on Etsy and I just couldn't find it on Etsy and we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. Let's take a look at what's in here. So this is really, really nicely done. This is a fantastic little promotion for Beyond 3D Props' website. So as you can see, check out our website for a wide range of physical and digital items. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So we've got digital files. And physical products thank you for your support if you have questions please contact via our website or through our socials we'll talk about that as well all right so here we've got some actual photos from some of their other um, products that's pretty cool so yes as you can see they even do have a life-size replica of lucky seven from xenoblade 3. again we're going to talk a lot about this shop because this shop is amazing um but this qr code there's something really cool with it it's not just a link tree i'll explain that in a, in a little bit as well so i love this if you guys saw my unboxing for the real life electronic pokedex the link for this will also be in the description below um this is also custom made by a fan of pokemon and it's amazing um that particular seller also did a lot of similar things like this when a seller goes and takes time to literally do things like this it's so sweet and so cool and it's so nice and i love it um so but we'll talk about that in a minute but here we have them the two flutes nothing else here in the bottom and they're packaged pretty nicely and as we can see they are segmented oh, these are so beautiful okay all right so we've got two qr codes over here i thought that this was gonna be the same one or oh, sorry i thought this was the only one but we'll talk about this in a minute so let's get these flutes out here as you guys can see the flutes do come dismantled um now you're probably asking what are they made of if they're dismantled so these are 3d printed i'm very curious to see the, how the texture for this is because i know that for some 3d printing um it can be a little bit different such as with the pokedex you know you got the line still but it works it's fine i do have this zelda um triforce that's 3d printed and you can still see the lines on it but still, it's not bad. It doesn't feel as rough, I think, as this. This definitely feels a lot rougher than the Triforce. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how the 3D print for this actually is. Um, so I basically had been going on Etsy for months, and I saw this shop, three, uh, Beyond 3D Props, so many times, and they had so many cool things. Um... They had like a replica of Jin's mask from Xenoblade 2. They had uh, Mio's pen from Xenoblade 3. So, and a couple of other things, but I could never find this. And then a few weeks ago, or about a week and a half ago, I was just, I, I just decided, all right, I can't find it even on Etsy. Like somebody at this point must have made a replica of the flutes, right? And... Then I just decided to Google it, and I found uh, the Twitter for Beyond 3D pop, uh, props with the actual flutes. And I'm just like, wait, I'm so confused. So I guess they did make it, and but I was thinking, oh, they made it, but it got sold out. That's why I wasn't seeing it on Etsy. Um, and then I, I saw that there was a website, uh, beyond3dprops.com, and when I went on, on the website, I saw that the flutes were available for sale. So each of these flutes are $58.98, I believe. Um, but still, like, as you can see, they come painted. And there's even, like, the little um, tassels in the back. And I can tell you right now, this is really nicely 3D printed. It doesn't fully feel like that. Um, it, like... 
the the scan lines is very very thin i don't know if it's standard over but it, it definitely feels out of these three over here or two over here it definitely feels the most um smoothest out of all like it you know it's not it doesn't fully feel like it's 3d printed which I, I love this it's really really cool and in case if you guys were wondering about the ocarinas they are ceramic so they're actual um yeah so so they're not plastic or anything like that but yeah so these are plastic and when i saw them i thought that they looked beautiful and exactly as it is in the games um so literally i had to buy it and i was i reached out to the buyer and um we ended up deciding to make this partnership for this particular video. So I'm just so excited for this and I'm so grateful for that as well. Um, because this this means so much to me. Alright, here we go. They even got the, the fading of the red and black. I mean, just look at this. This is so beautiful. Alright, so I believe... Yep, so assemblies looks like it's going to be pretty easy. Um, there's just a slot over here, slit over there, but, alright, I don't think that this is the right part yet, that's why I didn't, I saw this, but I did not notice this, um, this is the other end, alright, so we got, we gotta get this part first, um, but just looking at this, like, I'm amazed, this for me feels like I'm holding the Ocarina of Time, like, it came straight out of the game, it's so well detailed, um, so this is just fantastic and you know when i was talking with him all right hold on so we got this particular section here yep so it is like i thought there's a little slit over here you guys can't really see that little slit there and the lip over there all right Th this feels really sturdy too that so that's good and then over here, it's the same thing. It should be, right? Let's see. All right, there we go. All right, just look at this. This is beautiful. This flute's pretty long, but wow, this, this feels so well done. And I'm just so impressed with it. Like actually, from the pictures itself, you can see how beautiful it is, but in person, it's so much more beautiful. And it's just, I don't know how to say it. It's like almost nostalgic without it being nostalgic in a way. It's just like inspiring that somebody really went out of the way um, and made this just because of their passion for the series. And that's something that I, I you know, talking um, with Beyond 3D Props, he is so um passionate about this series he wanted to really do something that nobody really was doing i mean a couple people have a couple of 3d props and a you know a couple other things for uh for the xenoblade series but he wanted to take it a little bit of a step further um and do a couple of things that people really don't expect um which i am so grateful for for example as I mentioned earlier we've got mio's pen we've got the comb um he's got a full length uh you know lucky seven um we've got a Jin's weapon as well like Jin's sword from um xenoblade 2 um we've got nimue's pocket watch chris's flute monado coaster set which is pretty cool i did see that um basically it's like the sh the circle part of the monado and then a couple of um symbols from the monado as the little coasters which is really really cool so Again, this is so cool because this shows how passionate he is about the series and the products because he wants people to feel like they're a part of that world in a way that so many other people don't. Again, it's so similar to the maker of this Pokedex and the makers of uh, these ocarinas. So again, this is like somebody putting their art forward, forward and wanting to share it with the world and I, I just love it and what's really really cool about this is that you can actually play it it is a little rough feeling um but it doesn't feel like it's 3d printed it just feels a little bit rougher um so yes you can actually play it and that's what i wanted to discuss about the qr codes real quick so i thought that this was the qr code he mentioned was going to be coming in it 
this QR code is most likely going to take to the page that I saw before that has um, links to everything. Uh, this QR code, though, is if you scan this, again, it's going to come with it. Um, we've got the assembly steps as well. It will take you to a video that he made because, yes, you can actually play this. And I'll attempt to play this um, in the video as well. So, yeah, but let's set Noah's flute aside and take a look at Neos. But yeah, um, he's super passionate. He's got a YouTube channel. Um, he has a huge Xenoblade and Xeno series collection. I, I you know, was looking through his channel as well, and I just saw all of those, and I'm just so amazed. Um, sorry, one second. I'm trying to get this off. And it's stuck. All right, so I don't know if they're the same. Yeah, it's the same image, basically. But still, assembly should be the similar. Uh, should be the same. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Kind of looks like a flower over here. For some reason, this kind of makes me think of Assassin's Creed, in a way. I never really noticed the bottom part of Mio's flute. But, um, all right. Yeah, so he has a huge Zeno series collection, way bigger than mine. Um, so you, you, you know that this is definitely made with a lot of love and a lot of care. Um, so yeah, again, he just wanted to do something that people weren't doing. And, you know, just from that flute and the, the items that I see online on his stores, he, he's definitely succeeding in that because there's a lot of things that a lot of people don't make. And he is. And I'm very, very grateful for that. All right. Let's put this now in together. Oh, this is a slightly different setup. All right, but most likely it's going to go like this. Pretty easy. All right. I believe he said that the pitch for these are in C. Of course, it's not, you know, supposed to be professionally played. It's, he said that it was more for fun. Um, that he wanted to get the aesthetic right first versus functionality. Functionality in terms of playing it came as uh, not an afterthought, but more of like the last thing he wanted to work on. He wanted to make sure everything else worked out so well. I always noticed this. It's kind of funny that Mio has pineapples, or at least it looks like a pineapple for me. Um, but yes, so you can play them. Again, we'll demonstrate that in a minute. And as you can see, just like in the games, Noah's is longer than Mio's flute. And we're holding it here, side by side. And they're pretty long, too. Um, again, I love this. I do wish that this was metal. I think that would have been a nice touch, but of course it would be expensive and you can easily replace this with metal if you would want. And then we've got Mio's with a nice tie. And this works um, for the texture. This is so smooth. Wow. Okay, so yes, um, these can be played. And uh, again, I I'm just so amazed. This is so beautiful. Even the painting here, it's just... So yeah, I do... Sorry, I'm like uh, daydreaming. This is amazing. So I wanted to talk about this real quick. He does have digital files. So if you don't want to actually buy these yourself, you can just buy a digital uh, 3D print from him. And then uh, you can print it on your own and color it your own as well. Um, for physical sales on the flutes, from what I saw, he only has Noah's and Mio's, but... For digital files, he does have Chris's, and I keep forgetting her name. Um, well, I'm, I can't believe I forgot her name. Um, Mio's friend, Flute, as well. So that's really, really cool for those of you that do have 3D printers. Um, also, sorry, I'm going to forget if I don't say this now. Um, he's not very active on Etsy anymore. That is the explanation for why I couldn't find these flutes on Etsy. Uh, he does still have a shop there. You can still definitely buy the other products he has available there, but he has a lot more stuff available on his actual website, which again is beyond3dprops.com. Um, and sorry, I'm so tired. It's been a very long day. Um, so yeah, so he's not very, very active on Etsy. He 
does ask that you know you definitely take a look at the actual website beyond3dprops.com because there there's more items such as the flutes um and you would also be able to just buy it a lot smoother like the, in the process from what i understood um also on top of that his biggest social medias is definitely he has his youtube channel but he posts a lot on, on his tiktok so as you can see over here We've got, and he also has his Twitter, of course, as well, and an Instagram. So I'm going to post a link to all of his socials in the comments below, or sorry, not comments, in the description below. Um, right underneath my description for this video, you're going to see those along with my links to the other videos I talked about in this channel. I also wanted to say that I'm also going to be posting a link to my Xenoblade playlist. Um, that playlist has all of my Xenoblade videos except for my Trinity box set unboxing. Um, that particular playlist is for my Xenoblade essays and analysis. And it's also in the order that you should watch it, uh, with my review being the last one and everything else in the middle. So if you guys are curious about that, you know, definitely watch those. Again, I got a little bit more of announcements in regards to that, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. But, um, yeah, guys, this is amazing. This is so beautiful. Uh, really, thank you, Beyond3D Props, for partnering with me uh, to show these off. And yeah, and just for making these because, and everything else that you make, not just the flutes, because these are so beautiful. All right, so we're going to cut away and then we will uh, try to play the flutes and then give my final review on this. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, um, I'm just going to quickly play a note or two from this or I'm going to try to um, don't know how this is going to go but yeah it's um, it's a little hard this definitely as you can see has a specific sound it's not going to sound as the game is because again this is 3d printed um, but at least you can make a, a note with it, and I don't know how to play a Shinoboe flute. Um, I know how to play some other wind instruments. Um, but still, it's pretty cool that you can at least get that simulated in a way with this. Um, so, just showing it in full. That's how it is. I'm not going to play it again, um, just because it is a little loud. Um, and it is pretty late right now. But then here's Neos, which you would play the same way. Um, I'm going to do one, I'm going to try to do one note here. Yeah, um, I'm getting the hang of it. The ending of that is what it's supposed to have. Um, the beginning part of that section is incorrect because, again, I'm still getting used to the breath control over here. Um, but I also wanted to show this off. My Xenoblade 3 Amiibos arrived. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's Noah. And then here's Mio. Um, yeah, so it arrived at the same time, basically. Don't know why the X for the Xeno series is, um, upside down. Like, here's Noah. And then you can kind of see over there the X is upside down. It should be like this. But um, I'm really glad that these finally arrived. Now I have all of the Xenoblade Amiibos. But all right, let's get back uh, to the bed and we'll continue on with the video. So as you guys can see, I'm not really too good at getting these to play. As he says in the video that you guys can watch over here, which again, I'm gonna post the link to the video where he teaches a little bit how to play the flutes um, in the description as well. Um, he definitely does it a lot better um, since I'm still new to this particular type of flute um, because this is traditional Japanese shibui fruit flutes, I believe is what they're called. Um, it is a little bit harder to get used to, um, but it is possible. Definitely watch his video because you'll see it happening. Um, 
Also, real quick, and I just remembered I wanted to talk about this. So for Xenoblade Chronicles 3, they actually custom made, when they were making the game, they custom made actual Shibuya flutes to look exactly like these in, in you know, the ones from the games. Um, and they used those to record the music uh, that had the flute sections for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And, you know, obviously that was made with different materials. But the way that this looks in comparison to that, again, you'll see a picture here. Um, and if I can find a video of them playing it, because I think there was a video for it, you'll be seeing that as well. Um, so, yeah, th as you can see, like, they, he did such a fantastic job in actually getting everything right. Um, I mean, just look at this detail. Again, we're going to do a quick 360 for this pretty soon. Um but yeah, so the fact that he did that, it's impressive, it's amazing. Um, and the fact that they, you know, the game developers themselves went and did this too, it's fantastic and amazing. Um, so it really shows that the game developers and, you know, Beyond 3D props are so passionate about this. Um, so again, if, um, if, if, I, if I stop sucking, talking for a second, it's probably because I found a video and I'm just going to let them play um the flutes in this particular video because again i really do remember it so if it is if i can't find it here it is So while I'm finishing talking over here and giving my final thoughts, here's a very just good close-up of everything from both flutes. Um, but yeah, overall, this is amazing. It resembles the actual real product. It resembles the actual in-game. Um, and it, you can tell that there's so much passion in this entire store. Uh, there's just so much passion in it. Um, honestly, the, the material for this is so well built. It's so sturdy. There's some decent weight to these. Um, and yeah, no, this is, this is fantastic. Honestly, this is one of the best things I've gotten recently, um, in terms of like merchandise and, and anything like that. This is just so well done. Um, uh, so thank you again, Beyond 3D Props for partnering with me to show these amazing flutes off. Cause yeah, no, these things are I know I keep saying amazing, but it really, really is amazing, especially holding in person. And yeah, look at that shine. That's beautiful. So yeah, guys, this is this is basically my unboxing, my review for this. Again, links to this is going to be on the description um, to his regular website, to all his socials. Everything's going to be there in the description, so definitely take a look into that. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Xenoblade means a lot to me. It means a lot to Beyond 3D Props. Uh, we've been talking a lot about like our thoughts on the series as well, like just geeking out. So it's, pretty, it's been pretty fun like, communicating with him as well. Um, and yeah, guys, just this is amazing. This is like really a dream come true. Um, yeah, so I'm just so grateful for this particular partnership and just for him making this in general. Uh, because again, I could not find this for over a year. And um, I think it was recently in August of 2023. So a few months ago that he had announced these. Um, but yeah, this is this is fantastic. Um, so go buy these, <laughs> please. Because they're amazing. If you're a fan of Xenoblade, just buy these. 
Um, I just wanted to give a very, very quick update. Um, I've got five to maybe six, maybe seven Xenoblade uh, related videos coming out. I gotta write the script for a lot of these. Uh, two of them I have the script written. I was gonna try to get one released by the end of this month in January. However, um, I was sick for a, a little while. Um, and, you know, with school, work, and everything, it, I, I've just been really caught up. Um, so I haven't been able to record and edit anything for the one I want to release in this month, but I'll be getting to that pretty soon. Um, and then I started already writing the script for a third out of all of those seven ones, six or seven that I'm trying to work on. Um, those will all be coming out pretty soon. I got a couple of other Zeno related videos in mind after those particular ones come out. Um, so hopefully those I can get out a little bit quicker uh, than these ones because these ones I'm going to be doing a little bit more editing than the ones that I might be releasing later on. Um, also please follow me on Twitter. My uh, link for that is going to be in the description below. Um, I'm going to be making a lot of announcements over there in regards to some of my particular art projects that I'm working on um, that I will be showing here on this channel. Um, this particular project I've been working on for a very long time now. It's been taking way longer than it needed to, but there's specific reasons as to why. But it's basically done. I just got to do one or two more things with it. Um, so I'm going to be starting announcing that pretty soon. I'm very, very excited for that. It's something that I'm very passionate about. And again, it's kind of the main thing about this channel, which is my arts and my passion for the arts and talking about the arts that I love and share with other people, such as with Beyond 3D Props, love for Xenoblade that he went and made these actual flutes that can work and can play. So again, th these kinds of things are things that I love and you know, just the artistic passion in general with these particular art in general, uh, things in general. So yeah, this particular project that I'm working on, um, it's not a very long project, but it is a very long project because of all of these things that got in the way and complicated things, but thankfully it's almost basically done. So I'm going to be announcing that definitely on my Twitters. Um, so please definitely be following me there. And yeah, watch my other Xenoblade videos, watch my other unboxings, watch my other essays in general, and please watch my future Xenoblade videos as well. Again, go to Beyond 3D Props, and thank you dude so much for partnering with me for this particular video. Um, it's been a long day, it's very late right now, so I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.